to your presence on this day, we ask you to forgive us of our sins first. And we may be able to come to the throne of mercy, only that we may ask for those things that we stand in need of. And so, God, we thank you. We thank you for the blessing of another day. You can allow us to wait on this side and the strength and the power that you have given unto us. We thank you, God, for your constant protection that you have kept us through another week. And for that, we say thank you so much. But now, God, we come to various things because now, every time we truly come in your presence, we find ourselves in need of something. And God, right now, whenever someone finds themselves in need of, we know that you're the God. They can supply all our needs according to you, which is his glory. And so, God, we ask now that you search our hearts and search the hearts of those that's missing. And God, whatever it is that we stand in need of, we ask now that you would just give to us according to your will. Lord, we know there's so many trying times that's in front of us.
to one another. But then when he brings about comfort, he's actually using the word peace, which is shalom. So he's getting the Gentile, the Greeks, and the Jews, and other words. He wants everybody to know that God is your God. I don't care what your pedigree is. He wants you to know that God is your God. And not only is he just your God, but he's the God of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ.
you can have spiritual joy. So what God does is God sees your situation. That, and when he sees your situation, that he gives you an antidote for what is ailing you. That, see, if you go to the doctor, that, if you got something wrong with your feet, that, he's not going to give you something for your head. That, he's going to give you something for your feet because that, he wants to get you right where you're hurting. That, see, that's what God does. But remember, I told y'all the whole concept of him coming beside us is that, is that God is the one that, Thank <laughs> you. 
You know it's your conviction. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I said it's Ah, when you miss sick and God be in your mind, when you talk about what God did, it ought to be a conviction to your claim because you had to go through some stuff to get to the thing that until you've been through some stuff that you really can't claim much. But when you've been through some stuff that
missionaries to dinner on the third Sunday of December. But we still want to give a blessing to the children, but ask them to still bring the toys. And again, Mark age specifically is on the toys. Uh, male gender also, so we know we have to shout it out. Exactly what, what toy we can give out on the third Sunday. We still want to give a blessing to our, to our children. And maybe there's some children around here that you want to give a blessing to. Please feel free to do so. We do want to give our toys out on the uh, on the third on the third Sunday. So we're looking forward to that. Again, I want to thank those who came out and helped us serve uh, food on the, this past Tuesday. It was a wonderful experience once again to be able to give back. So I thank God for each of you for your sacrifice, and even for the gifts that you gave to make sure you fed as many people that we uh, we fed. Also, I think people have an activity plan that's now we're still going forward with it. I know people say that I want to have some time with them before uh, we go into the new year. If you look on the worship guide, I just want to have a channel party with them. So we want all our young people to come out and just have a wonderful time together. So again, please, uh, young people, get the word out. We we'll want to see you on that, on that Saturday. We're going to have a wonderful time uh, on that particular Saturday. Amen. Any birthdays been celebrated from this day, the 29th until the 5th of December. Let's go and focus this into the middle of the land. 